Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over all of the products slash palettes I tried in March. So I didn't try, I don't think any base products in March, just some palettes. And I like to come at the end of the month, beginning of the next month and give you my thoughts now that I've had some more time with them. So I'm gonna go over the whole stack of palettes with you and give you some more thoughts. So if you saw any of my videos from March and you'd like to see further thoughts on any of those palettes, stay tuned. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Colin. I am a non-binary Latinx scientist and lover of makeup with a soft spot for any makeup and colorful makeup, which you will definitely see in this video. And I have new content every week, so I'd love to have you subscribe. And if you're curious about the look I have in my eyes, that should already be up on my channel. It's the new Nomad Paradise Islands palette. Um, I did a three looks video with this and that should be up already. And I'll link it here. So the first palette I want to mention is the Hella palette, the Odin's Eye Angelica Nyquist collab. So this is so beautiful. This I believe is in stock again. I know it sold out and they did a restock, I think a week or so ago, and I think it's still in stock. So if you want to get this, I will have it linked below. This is beautiful. I do love that the outer sleeve and the box are a little different. Um, this is a beautiful green springy color story. You've got some neutrals, you've got some pink tones. I think this is a really wonderful spring palette. I think what I'm wearing on my eyes is also a really wonderful spring slash summer palette. Um, so if you're into more of the grungy, like olivey green tones, then I would highly recommend this. I think the quality is top notch. You've got a multi-chrome. I'm still obsessed with this river shimmer. Um, so I use this more can't speak highly enough of this. I think Angelica did a wonderful job. So I still highly recommend this as long as it's in stock. So sticking with green palettes, I also tried the first palette from Fantasy Cosmetica, the Druid palette. So this is actually a local brand for me. They actually are in Redmond, which is right across the lake, unless it's river. <laughs> um, and this is such a beautiful little palette. I believe this actually sold out um, and they are doing a restock. Um, I think this is really beautiful. You've got a couple of duochromes. You've got re two really beautiful multi-chromes. The mattes are really pigmented and work really nicely. Um, the only complaints I had about this is I wish that these two, like the warm brown and the like burgundy brown were a little more different, but they all, they both work really nicely. And the font is hard to read, <laughs> but I think this is an amazing palette. I think this is like $36. It's a really great first palette from the brand, and I can't wait to see what they do next. So sticking with indie brands, I also tried the new palette from Lethal Cosmetics. This is the Nightflower palette. I didn't buy the rest of the collection, I just got the palette, but I do want the highlighters and the uh, eyeliners, I just haven't done them yet. Um, I love Lethal's packaging, and I love Lethal's formula. I think they have amazing mattes, they have really nice shimmers as well. Uh, this does have a couple multi-chromes in it, but they're more subtle multi-chromes. They're also cheaper than some other multi-chromes you might try to buy. Um, I think this is just a beautiful purpley curation. So if you're in the mood for some pops of color for spring, but like on the cool tone side versus the warm green side, I think this is a great option. This is one of the best palettes they've done. Um, I really love this. I can't speak highly enough of Lethal. They are still one of my favorite brands. Not only do they make really great products, but they're also just really nice people. And they have the best palette builder on their website um, because they also sell all of these as singles so you can build your own palette, um, which I really love. So if you really wanted this, but you're like, well, I'll never use the blue shimmers, you can swap those out for two different sh shades and make your own version of it, which I really love. So I also tried both of the new palettes from Trixie Cosmetics, the Team Katya and the Team Trixie palettes. I think the Team Trixie palette is out of stock, but the Katya one may be in stock. I'm not sure, I'll have it all linked down below. I really like both of these. The Team Trixie one is very springy, very bright and pastels. Um, I really love this. These are so pigmented, they work so well. This does have two like glittery shades, they call them, they do specify that they're biodegradable glitter, but they're not like a press glitter. There's actually a binder and a base there, but they're not just a shimmer with a lot of glitter. They're like some weird hybrid between a shimmer and a press glitter, but they're really beautiful. I really love this. 
these like pinky neutral shades are really nice. I've used those like stick it um, and bar bartender. I've used those as just like a quick off to work look with glam face. I think this is really pretty and I think you get really nice quality for the price it's made in the United States. You're supporting a small queer owned brand. I, I love Trixie. Uh, the Team Katya palette is a little darker and a little more neutral. So this is neutral with pops. So I really love this. I have used this quite a bit as well for quick looks like using the, just the brown mattes just to play with them. This blue is one of the best matte blues I've ever used. Um, I just think this is a wonderful palette. Uh, Katia said that she designed this to be her staple shades, like, you know, highlight shade, crease shades, deepening up shades, and then her pops, her blue pop and her pink pop. And I think she did an amazing job with this. And I hope they keep collabing because everything they've come out with so far has been really great. Okay, and the last two things I tried this month, I also really liked, there was no duds this month. Um, the other one was the Natasha Denona Pastel Palette. So I really like this. I have a video doing four looks with this up. I, if you go into this expecting dark shades or smoky eyes or anything like that, you're gonna hate it. But if you're going into this knowing it's pastels, I think you'll really like it. The quality is great. You can currently get this on sale at Sephora because they're doing the Sephora Rouge VAB sale. I will say brisk and airy are not the best mattes, but they are a pastel matte. But the shimmers are pretty, and then the cream to powders, Bora, Bubble, Zest, um, and Tool, they are really great. So like, she's had pastels in some of her other palettes, like she had a pastel pink that's basically the same color as this in Circo Loco, but it was a powder, doesn't work on my skin tone at all. Tool, same color, but because it's the cream to powder, works beautifully on my skin tone. So I think for what it's worth, what it is, I really like this and I'm really happy I got it. Um, but you do have to go into it knowing what it is and if it's going to be worth it for you. Because if you're going into it thinking it's going to be something that's not, you're going to be upset and you're going to waste 60 bucks. So proceed with caution, knowing if you're going to like pastels or not. <laughs> And then the last thing I tried was the new Sigil inspired palette, the Black Glove. Um, this is not available. Um, and because of Russia invading Ukraine, you can't really buy anything from them because they are shipping via the post office, but there's no way to pay them because of the sanctions. There's, you can't use a credit card. You can't use PayPal. So there's like no way to pay them. And their Etsy shop is also shut down. So hopefully, you know, things work out for them. I really like them as a brand and I'm hoping they'll end up okay. But this is really pretty. I think this is, they launched it for Valentine's Day. So it's been quite a while since the intended theme. Um, but, you know, the world kind of imploded around them. And I'm still really happy I got this. I think this is really great quality. This shade right here, this like red, orange, gold, green multichrome is so beautiful. Um, I don't regret getting this at all. And I, I just really hope that they come out of everything okay and survive as a brand because they make the most amazing products. And they also just seem like nice people. Okay, so that was a fairly quick video. <laughs> Didn't try too many things, but had no duds. Um, didn't really try any base products or anything. So let me know in the comments below if you've picked up any of these and what your thoughts on them are, or if you're planning on to. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video.